Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna, but if you are back, welcome to week three. So we are now officially halfway between the six weeks, so that's pretty exciting. It is Monday, so we're gonna be starting off this week with some legs and booty. So without further ado, let's get straight into week three. For the beginning of our workout today, we're gonna start with 20 narrow squats. So very similar to a normal squat, except your stance is about shoulder width apart. For this, I chose to use a resistance band. This is completely optional, and we're going to do 20. Next, we're gonna move into 30 side leg raises, doing 15 per leg. Once again, I used resistance. This is completely optional. If you find that you can't find your balance, you can also hold on to something to stabilize yourself. You might notice that during these, you have a more dominant leg. That's totally normal. I do too. Just a reminder that all of the exercises in my videos do get sped up just for length of time. So making sure you're doing controlled actions. After completing our side leg raises, we are now going to move into 20 fire hydrants. So going down on your hands and knees, keeping your core tight, taking your leg out to the side and back down, doing 10 per leg. Staying on our hands and knees, we're gonna do 25 bird dogs. Keeping your core still tight, you're going to extend one arm and the opposite leg, squeezing your glute as you lift it up, then alternating back and forth 25 times. Next, you will need something to prop your foot up on because we are doing 30 split squats, 15 per leg, going all the way up and extending back down into a lunge. You can use resistance if you want. In the demonstration of the video, I did not. But for the rest of my circuit, I decided to add the resistance band. And finally, finishing up our circuit, we're going to do 20 donkey kick pulses, 10 per leg, but I did end up doing 20 per leg just because I found 10 wasn't enough. Once again, I used the resistance band, keeping your core tight and just like a donkey kick, but instead of bringing it all the way back down, you're gonna stop and you're gonna pulse for 20. Repeat this circuit two times and three if possible. I completed three today. Okay, so wrapping up today's workout, it took me 37 minutes to do in 36 seconds. I burned 278 active calories and 327 total calories. And um, for the donkey kicks, I did double my reps and did 20 for the pulses instead, just because I found that 10 wasn't enough. And if you guys want to double reps or add resistance, you're more than welcome to do that anytime. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Hello everyone, welcome to day two of week three. I'm ready to just get right into today's workout. I'm feeling a bit cold, so I'm ready to warm up. Today we are going to be doing some shoulders and back, so I hope you guys enjoy. Day two of week three, we're gonna start by doing 20 dumbbell punches. You're gonna just start by extending your arms all the way out and just doing air punches until you are done the 20 reps. Next, you're gonna take a seat and extend all the way up. I'm gonna try to straighten your back as much as possible. We're gonna do 20 seated dumbbell presses. So bringing your arms up and extending them to touch the weights together and back down. If you don't have weights, that's okay. Once again, just repeat your reps. For purpose of the video, like always, I just move around just to show you different angles of the exercise. Next, we are going to do 20 hammer curls. So taking your weights, if you have them in your hands, like you have a hammer and extending it all the way up and back down, repeating back and forth for 20. Similar to the rows we've done before, this time we are doing 10 single arm rows, 10 per arm. So leaning yourself slightly forward and pulling one weight up at a time towards your armpit and extending fully back down. Finishing off today's workout, we are going to do 15 around the world Y press. So starting with your arms in front of you, 
You're gonna do 15 around the world Y press. So starting by bringing your hands in front of you, rotating your palms to be facing forward. You're gonna do a circle-like motion, creating a Y at the top and coming back down, repeating this 15 times. Repeat this circuit two times and three if possible. I completed this circuit three times today. All right, so today's workout took me a total of 40 minutes and 11 seconds, including the warm up and cool down. I burned 266 active calories and 319 total calories. I did just want to mention a couple of things. I wanted to mention that if you are finding the workouts difficult, it's totally okay. Uh, I know I had mentioned in week two about taking breaks, but if you cannot meet the full reps, that's totally totally okay the whole thing about my program is just to be moving your body it's just to be more active and it's good to just be moving your body in general so I wanted to say that and then opposite if you're finding that these workouts are not hard enough um, or you feel that you have more to give that by no means do you have to stop here you can continue your workout you can do it to more than three you can up it to four or five circuits if you want you can go for walks and do extra things just to be more active I just wanted to quickly debrief that Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for day three. Hello guys and welcome to our active rest day today. So it is Wednesday, which means today is kind of a low-key day, I guess. So um, the only thing that you guys have to do today is go for a 30-minute walk. You can do more if you would like. Um, and then just some basic stretching. It doesn't matter which order you do this in. I think I'm going to do my stretching and then go for a walk after dinner. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's active rest day. Starting today's workout, we're just going to do some basic stretching, starting with downward dog. You're just going to hold here for 20 counts. As we move from downward dog, we're going to go into a low lunge, hold here for 20, and then repeat on the opposite side. We're now going to move into a glute four stretch, once again holding for 20 and then repeating on the opposite side. We're now going to move into a spinal twist and hold here for 20. Once you've held for the 20, once again repeat on the opposite side.
And to finish off our stretching for today, we're gonna go into a cobbler's pose. So bringing your feet together as close as possible to your groin and then leaning back and laying down, holding again for 20. I repeated this two times. So I just finished doing my stretches and I did two rounds of it and I held each stretch for 20 seconds each. So it only took me eight minutes to do and I burned 25 active calories. And then I burned 35 total calories and I'm just gonna go eat dinner and then I'm gonna go for my walk after. I just tracked that under the yoga option for my Apple Watch and then I'll record my walk as a separate one. So I will see you guys after my walk. All right, so my mom and I just got back from our walk and it took us a total of 31 minutes and 14 seconds. We walked 2.47 kilometers. I burned 97 active calories and 135 total calories. So I hope you guys enjoyed this low-key Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow for a full circuit. Hello guys, welcome to day four of week three. So before we start our chest and arms workout today, I just wanted to chat for a second because I always am honest on my channel and I think it's important for me to be honest with you guys during this six week program. Today I'm feeling a lack of motivation, I'm feeling low energy. I think it has to do because it is raining and cloudy and gray out, like I said last week. Um, but yeah, so regardless though, I am going to do my workout. I'm gonna listen to my body and just take it as I go um, but yeah so I hope you guys enjoy today's chest and arms and I will see you after for our chest and arms workout today we're gonna start by doing 20 tricep extensions but single arm so similar to the ones we've done in the previous weeks except with one arm at a time lowering the weight and extending it fully back up doing 10 per arm Next, you're gonna sit down and we're gonna do 20 concentration curls. So allowing your forearm or your elbow to rest on your thigh, extending the weight all the way down and curling back up. If you do not have weights, once again, that's okay. Just double your reps or have something heavy to hold on to. We're now gonna do 20 single arm tricep press. So taking the weights about shoulder height and pushing one all the way up into the air and the opposite going back and forth until you have done 20, so 10 per arm. And to wrap up today's circuit, we're gonna do 20 extended curls. So taking your weights, moving them forward, bringing your palms to the front of you and curling all the way up, extending all the way back down, rotating to the side and repeat, doing 20. I repeated this circuit three times today. All right, so I just finished the workout and like the warm up and cool down. You guys know the drill. It took me a total of 41 minutes and 18 seconds. I burned 280 active calories and 334 total calories. So overall, it was a good workout. I'm glad that I did it because I'm feeling actually a lot better now. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow for day five. That was 10. Hello guys, welcome to day five of a week three. Today we are going to be doing a full body HIIT workout and I'm ready just to get it done and over with because I know it's gonna kick my butt, but that's a good thing. So I hope you guys enjoy today's workout and I will see you afterward. 
For our full body Friday, we're gonna start by doing 20 hyperextension crunches, so 10 per side. Laying on your side, you're going to reach your arm all the way up to touch your toe as close as possible as you can, back down in a controlled action, and repeat. Once again, 10 times per side. Moving on from that, we're going to do 20 inch worm in and outs. So starting by walking your hands out from your feet into a high plank and walking yourself back all the way in, standing up and repeat. For this next exercise, we're going to do 15 knee jumps. If you don't want to jump, you can do what I did and just go from your knees to your feet. So quickly standing up to your feet and back down. We are now going to do 30 crunch kickbacks. So you're going to start in a high plank, bring your knee in towards your elbow, kick your leg all the way back and back down and then repeat on the opposite side. You should do 15 per side. To finish up our circuit, we are going to do 20 sumo shuffles. I decided to use a resistance band. This is completely optional. The way I like to count this is I do 10 per side, usually back and forth. Once you are done this circuit, you're going to repeat it three times, and I repeated it three times today. All right guys, so I just wrapped up the workout. It took me 40 minutes and 30 seconds to do today. I burned 324 active calories and 367 total calories. And I will see you for the very last day of week three tomorrow. Hello everyone, welcome back to the last day of week three. So today we are doing an abs and cardio workout, um, but instead of running, today has a little bit of a twist. We're gonna be doing a 15 minute cardio dance workout, um, but I'm gonna leave this up to you to choose what you prefer like on YouTube, but I will show you what dance I pick to do, but I won't be recording that. Um, but I will show you guys which option I choose, but I like doing dances as like a cardio workout because one It's fun to do it doesn't feel like you're working out But you actually get a good sweat on and you burn quite a few calories So that's what we're gonna start with and then I will record the abs portion of today's workout But I will quit rambling on and I will see you guys afterward What I do is I just hook up my computer. I have airplay So I just stream it on my TV here and today we picked this 15 minute cardio dance I've done it before and I like it a lot. It's by Love Sweat Fitness. And yeah, so it's a 15 minute cardio dance workout. So that's the one that we are going to do and we will see you guys after we're done that before we do the abs. All right, so we just finished that uh, cardio dance and including the warm up and the dance itself, it took us 24 minutes and five seconds. We burned 178 active calories and 209 total calories. And now we're going to go on to the abs portion of today and then we will reach back with you guys after that. Starting off today's abs portion of the workout, we're gonna start by doing 30 bicycle crunches. Next, we're going to do 30 side-to-side -side toe taps, making sure you're keeping your core engaged as much as possible during these exercises. We're now going to move into 15 elbow to knee crunches per side, so you should be doing 30 total, taking your knee towards your elbow. We're now going to do 25 sit-ups. Gabby and I both put our feet under the couches just to ground ourselves so we're engaging our core more. And you're going to do 25 all the way down and all the way up.
And to finish off the circuit, we're going to do a 30 second plank hold, making sure you are dropping your bum as much as possible and engaging your core. You're going to repeat these abs twice. All right guys, so we just finished everything, the warm up, the workout, the abs, the cool down, and it took us a total of 42 minutes and 55 seconds. We burned 293 active calories and 349 total calories, and that is the end of week three, so I will see you guys tomorrow for the outro. Hello guys, welcome to Sunday. We are finally on the last day of week three. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's workouts and make sure you take care of yourself today. Have the day off, treat yourself because we are starting week four on Monday. And I will see you when that is posted. <laughs>